grouping or beaming of notes. Before we begin, let's make sure that we remember our one count pattern. There are seven of them over here. We will be needing them when we're working on a sample question on this topic. Before we begin, we are going to look at how to group four quavers together. There are several rules that you need to look into and remember. Now, for example, 2-4, we will not be able to give a correct answer if we beam these quavers in twos. The correct answer will be beaming all four together. Just like this. This answer will be the correct one. Let's look at a 3-4 for quavers rule. Here, we are not allowed to beam two by two like this. The correct answer will be beaming four of them together and that makes a correct answer. This, as you have already guessed, they cannot be beamed in such a way. They need to be beamed four together again. And that makes the correct answer. Same thing here. For three, four, when they are all quavers in the whole bar, we are to beam all six together. And now the answer is correct. Now for 4-4, four, four, almost similar rules apply. The four quavers here will be have to beam together to look like this. Now, here you will see first and the second beat and an invisible division here with the third and the fourth beat quavers beam together. Now when this case happens, we're going to do the same thing. We are going to beam the first four quavers together and these other two crotches. Again, you will see first and second beat, invisible division, third and the fourth beat. Now, unlike 3-4, when you see six quavers, you cannot beam them together for 4-4 four, four, for crotchet beats in the bar. Here, we're going to have to beam it this way so that the first and the second beat is together, invisible division, and then the third and the fourth beat together. First, second beat, invisible division, third and fourth. This way, it allows a sight reader to see this clearer and be able to count the beat easier. Same thing apply here. Six quavers, we're going to do the first and second beat quavers together and then follow by the next two quaver pair up with the crotchet. And then you have first and second beat, invisible division, third and fourth beat. When you have eight together, same rule applies. You need the first and the second beat together and followed by the third and the fourth beat together. So first and second beat, invisible division, third and fourth beat. 